Hi, I'm Invalid Ghost, and today we're gonna play some more Planet Zoo. Um, on the last episode, we got dingoes and also buffalo and annoying, stupid, stinky pronghorns who I hate, who almost all died in the last episode. <laughs> because, I don't know, they were pooping too much? Who the frick, who the frick knows? Anyway, we've got $3,000 here. And that means we can probably get a new animal. Maybe. So, you know, I, I'm not really sure, like, what my plan is for this zoo exactly. So far, we seem to have a lot of animals, uh, from the grasslands. <laughs> you know, we've got the zebras from Africa. The, uh... I'm not sure if the Chinese pangolin actually lives in the grassland. Actually, I think it lives in the forest. I don't really freaking know about anything about pangolins, I'll be honest. Peafowl. I'm sure they live in the grasslands. Dingo. They live in a deserty area. You know, grasslands. Ugh, stuff like that. Anyway, I completely forgot my train of thought. But I don't know what I'm doing with the zoo. Like, I don't know what animals I want. I don't know... You know, what kind of exhibits to build. I'm just kind of doing whatever the frick I want. And that still looks incredibly inappropriate. <laughs> whatever. It doesn't matter. I think we're going to just branch off in two directions here. This direction and this direction. And I think in the middle here, we're going to have a new staff area. So let's make a staff area here. And by a staff area, I really just mean a bunch of staff paths and they're gonna be surrounded by trees and junk okay no no no. I know what to do everyone's been complaining about how hot it is it's so hot out here it's so hot what degree? it's only 86 degrees Fahrenheit oh my god you people do not understand what heat even is do you it's so hot out here it's so well now they're yeah, complaining about rain there is no rain what are you guys talking about <laughs> But these losers, they can't handle heat because, I don't know, even though this says it's Texas, they're apparently not used to Texas's weather. <laughs> so I think I will make an air-conditioned area for them um, in one of these directions. But yeah, one path is going to lead people to, like, a different section of animals. Like, this, this is all gonna be, like, the plains and the... This is all going to be animals who live in the plains, who live in the grasslands, whose habitats are going to be easy for me to maintain. And it'll expand, extend, ex 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 it'll extend into this area over here since we have some more space and of course there's more animals that, uh, that live in the grasslands and stuff than the ones I have here. And over here, we're going to go into different sections of the zoo, and over here, we're going to build our next thing, which is going to be an air-conditioned room filled with exhibit animals. I think that'll be a good idea. So let's do it. We're going to get some wood because I think wood would be nice for this area, maybe? Let's m make our length a little longer and our width pretty freaking wide. Alright. Over here is exhibit world. So, yeah. Now we need a bunch of walls. A bunch of walls. That's what we need. Okay, we got some breeze breeze block walls. Four meters tall. This is probably not tall enough, but that's fine. We can stack them. How do I rotate? Like this. That's how we rotate. Okay. So, right about right about here is where we're gonna- Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the frick have I done? Why- how did this get- how, Why is it not the right way? <laughs> why- Why are you not the right way? Point the other way! Uh, we're just going to place this right next to this wall. Bam. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, that's- that's fine. Oh god. <laughs> oh. oh no. This is not that fine. There we go, that's fine. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's probably big enough, maybe. 
maybe, maybe not. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Stop it, stop it. I don't want to buy double walls. That's so annoying. Okay. That's pretty big. I like that. This will have plenty of exhibit animals in it. It'll be a whole exhibit area filled with exhibits. We have no money for this right now. I'm just saying, because I think the exhibit exhibits are pretty expensive. God dang it, but whatever. We're gonna build the building. And that's all that really counts. That's all that really matters. God dang it, why do I keep accidentally building extra walls? I don't wanna do that! Ugh. All I want for this game is for the building to be as easy as The Sims 4. Is that so wrong? Like, why can't they just blatantly copy The Sims 4? Please, please just, just copy The Sims 4 because this is actual garbage. I hate it. <laughs> uh, okay, we're fine. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, now, I believe if we, um... How do we raise? How do we... Ah. Like, so. See? This is perfect. Now we just build the second freaking floor. There we go. I know how to build in this game. Look how good I am at building. I'm so good at building. You guys have no idea. Just ignore the fact that we have a tree inside of the exhibit room. We'll get rid of it. Don't worry about it. Okay, how do I... Now I need to just... I need to... To just there. Gonna be honest, building in this game is like pulling teeth. It's not fun. It's actually kind of painful. I don't like it. <laughs> Everything else in this game, great, but when it comes to actually building stuff, no, no, I'm having a terrible time. I do not like this. No, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Building the actual animal habitats, not bad. Not bad. I have a pretty okay time with that. But this, this is awful. <laughs> okay, but whatever, we're done. So now we just need the path to change because this is way too freaking big. Okay, maybe that can go like that. But we need like smaller paths inside, you know, so that people can uh, explore the exhibit area. But first of all, we need to, to see how big the exhibits even are. How big are exhibits? Exhibits are too much money, so I can't even see. Okay, there we go. So they are about a square big, so... We had one here. We could probably fit, like, maybe... Th we could put a whole wall of these things, or we could put some space in between. Maybe, like, two here, and then a path, and then two more. Something like that. That would be kind of nice, you know, I think. Okay, so maybe something like this, right, and then we go down, I don't want, I want a hard angle please, this is not, I want square, <laughs> yes, square edge, what is this, have this grid selected, fine, align to grid, select grid, how do I select the grid? Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> uh oh, what? Huh? I don't know what the frick I'm doing, honestly. <laughs> I don't know what the frick's going on. This is fine. Okay. You see where I'm going with this? We have exhibits everywhere. Frickin' everywhere. We have the paths frickin' everywhere. It's gonna be just great. It's gonna be so many exhibits. So many people will have places to go. It's gonna be so fun. Now how the frick do I connect anything? <laughs> how the frick do I connect anything? There we go. That is perfect. 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 Okay. And now we do these side for the, the other side. Oh. I don't care about being perfect anymore. 
I just, I don't care. I can't be bothered. There we go. Actually, you know what? Screw that. We're gonna need bathrooms in here, and the bathrooms will go right there. Perfect. Perfect. So now, this is gonna be the exhibit area. And we're gonna put... Since the exhibits can have their own temperatures inside, I figure that we can make this colder without hurting any animals. Right? And it would also just, like, make sense that there's coolers in here, because, you know, when you go into the exhibit room, it's typically colder than it is outside, you know? Typically, those places are more likely to have air conditioning. I would know. I've been to a zoo before. Right? We grab that. We move it, because it's in a stupid area. Maybe, like, there. We put it down to not 32. Who the frick wants 32? God, that's cold. Okay, uh... I'd want it, like... 70. <laughs> okay, how about... 70. <laughs> 70 is... 70 is nice, I like 70. Okay, there we go. So now it's a little cooler, right? Yeah, there we go. It's co nice and chilly in that center. We're gonna need a couple of these coolers, to be honest. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, the pronghorn antelopes are mating. Just what we want. Just what we want. Look at those pronghorns mate. This dude is getting around, man. He's mating with freaking every female. All of these stupid pronghorns are gonna be his children. It's gonna annoy the heck out of me. <laughs> Ugh, I hate pronghorns. Just have your baby so I can sell them. We almost have enough money for our first exhibit. That's pretty exciting. That's pretty exciting stuff. Okay, can we- maybe we should lower it a little. Cause I don't- I don't know if it's good enough. Maybe like 64? Okay, and we're gonna put those in- in each little corner here. So that the- not, the room's nice and chilly. For everyone. Alright. There we go. Now if you guys want to get cool, you have to get into that room. So, so there. What the frick? Animal stressed. Why? Why? You're not stressed. That's a lie. You're perfectly fine. See? You're hiding behind the wall and you're perfectly fine because you're hiding behind the wall. Okay, we have enough money for an exhibit. And we probably have enough- mm, it keeps going down. I'm gonna wait till we get 4,000. Okay, we have enough money for an exhibit. Great, our first exhibit. It'll be right here, near the entrance. So let's get our exhibit! Woo! Oh, we could get a nice looking one, or we can get one that looks like garbage. Well, since this is inside, I don't think it matters that it looks like garbage. Okay. I don't really like how they make paths. I don't- I don't want paths, because I plan on putting exhibits there, and I need- Okay, it didn't put a path, which is great, but I need you to rotate a little bit more. Because you're not exactly perfectly on the thing, and just annoys the frick out of me. Thank you very much. You need to move, but no, just uh, stop. <laughs> I don't want angle snaps. Screw that, thank you. Angle snap is stupid and dumb. Whoever invented it needs to get shot. I'm sorry, I don't mean it. I kind of mean it. Okay. There, that's perfect. Shut up. Shut up. It's perfect. <laughs> okay, now delete this path because it's stupid and ugly. I don't want it. Delete that. D delete it. Delete. Oh my god. Now it's no longer square. You made it no square. I wanted it square and now it's not square. Oh. Oh, I'm upset. Oh, I'm livid. Come on. Come on. You're not obstructed. Stop being a weenie. Stop being a baby. I'm just trying to have fun, game. <laughs> I'm just trying to have a little fun, and you're not allowing me to have fun. What is this? I don't care. The Amazonian- The Amazonian giant centipede. Yeah, that's what we're getting. We're getting a male and a female. Alright. Let's send them to the zoo. Woo! We get to have baby centipedes! Everyone wants baby centipedes! What the frick? I don't want- get away from me. <laughs> okay, here we go! Exhibit 1, we're gonna rename that to Giant Centies. 
All right. Now, all we need... Okay, some weird bird was just screaming outside and it freaked me out. It's probably fine. <laughs> we have hawks around here, you know. It's, it was probably a hawk. <laughs> the giant centipede. What do you want? You want your temperature? Te it's too hot. I'm sure. I'm sure it's too hot. Okay, let's lower that a little bit for you. We like a nice, uh, a nice 70. Humidity's perfect, though. You like a nice 70 in there? 80, 80, 80, 80. You like 80. You like 80. You like 80. You like 80. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You like 80. Oh my god. What? Well, frick can fix it then, you frickin' losers. Do I need another mechanic? I probably need another mechanic. Mechanics. High workload. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you guys need another mechanic. Okay, fine. I'll take one- I will get one more mechanic. Bam. There you go. You have a new mechanic. His name is... Ry- Ray is... No. Your name is gonna be... I'm trying to think of a Fire Emblem character whose name starts with an R, and I- I know there's like tons, but I can't think of any for some reason. Uh... You know what? This has been three houses. Who- which fire- come on, there's gotta be at least one character in Fire Emblem Three Houses that has a name that starts with an R. And I'm just not thinking of it. I don't even know if this dude's a boy or a girl. I don't even care. You know, you're gonna be... Ignatz. Because that's the only freaking name I can think of. Is that even how you spell Ignatz? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, there you go. Have fun being a nerd. Okay. Back to what I was doing with the centipedes. Are you guys good now? Yeah, you guys are good. You look good. You've got good social health. Wait, but you need an exhibit thing. You need exhibit stuff. About to have offspring. I'm not ready for that. You can just hold your pronghorns, okay? I'm going to get an exhibit board so that I can put the name of these things out in front, alright? I'm trying to have fun with my little whatchamacallits in here, okay? My centipedes, my bugs. What is this? Zoo entrance. I don't want no zoo entrance in here. What I want... I've already forgotten. <laughs> okay, here it is. This thing. I want this stupid thing. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would like it. And I'd like it to be right there for people to see. This is the Amazonian giant centipede. Thank you very much. Okay, now we can go look at the pronghorn that's about to have offspring. Oh my god, and you're gonna have an offspring right in front of the people. That's so nice of you. Oh, also, yeah, off camera, I got some educational speakers. Don't worry about it. None of them are overlapping, I'm sure. <laughs> I needed to boost my education score, you know? Now, come on, give me the babies. Give me the babies. Also, I've got the perfect names for all these pronghorns, and I thought about this off camera as well. You guys may hate me for it, <laughs> but I don't care. I've got the perfect name for every single pronghorn. Uh, well, all the female ones, anyway. I don't really know what to name the male one yet, but I know what to name all the females. Oh, look at that! We got a baby! Okay, they're kind of cute. You know, I'm, I feel bad for what I'm about to do with them, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't freaking matter, because they still annoyed the heck out of me. Okay, only one? I guess that's normal. <laughs> Okay, where did their child just run off to? It, the child was born and then it immediately effed off. It was like, I don't want to be here! <laughs> the people got to see it for one second. Jesus. Variety. Or verity. Not variety. Okay. Well, anyway, I got the perfect name for all of the pronghorns. So, let me go to the zoo. Let me go to my animals. And I'm gonna rename every single freaking animal we've got in here. Well, not every animal, but all the pronghorns. I got new names for them. Can you guys guess what the name, what the names are gonna be? Uh, I'll give you a hint. It starts with an S and ends with a Mia. <laughs> Sumia, 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 and Sumia. Oh, and Sumia. Li we'll call it Little Sumia. I mean, technically, that should be Cynthia, right? Because it's Sumia's daughter, but no. No, I like Cynthia too much. She doesn't deserve to have her name attached to one of these awful creatures. Okay, and Noah? 
What's a male that I don't like? I kind of like all the males in, in fire. Does that make me sexist? <laughs> no, there's got to be one that I think is stupid. I mean, I suppose I said I didn't really like Niles, but you know, I like, I like Niles <laughs> now. <laughs> He's grown on me. Sumia hasn't. <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> There we go. I'm gonna name him this poor guy. <laughs> and all his Sumias and little Sumia. <laughs> Alright, uh, also with li with regards to little Sumia, well, I guess I can't give you contraceptive because you're too young, but I gotta remember to do that, otherwise he this poor guy is gonna mate with his daughter and that'll be just disgusting on many levels. <laughs> Alright, now you guys, you need to go visit my centipede, okay? I worked really hard on him. And this whole place is very cool, okay? So come over here. Come over here and say hi to it. Oh, my vet research is complete. Nice. Oh, the plain zebra and cambalobi boo. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so we got plain zebra. So maybe you should go... I don't really care too much about the giant centipede. He's gonna be fine for a long time. I don't care about them too much. They're not... Exhibit animals don't really get cool things, you know? They just don't. So I'm gonna put you on my Chinese pangolian. Let's get some more stuff for long way. And Leo, go research classic swine fever, please. Thank you. Oh, look at that. We got- we, we fully researched cambylob- cambylobacteriosis. Campyloi. Campylobacteriosis. Monkeypox? Oh my god. The antelope's about to mate. Great. <laughs> Sumia is about to mate. <laughs> Great. Another- <laughs> That Sumia is now expecting offspring. Why is your welfare low? Your social is low because you don't have any friends. That's... That's a shame. I'm sorry. But you know what? You're gonna be just fine, okay? You're gonna get other babies, okay? There's gonna be other babies. Don't worry. I don't get it. It says severe social welfare if welfare issues, but then it says it's okay in the adult population. I don't know. Maybe it does just need more babies. I don't I don't freaking know. I don't give a dang that you're stressed, <laughs> little Sumia. Okay, I get it. I don't need two notifications that he's stressed. Can somebody freaking look at my centipedes? Come on! I know there's only one little exhibit over here and it's not that exciting, but please, somebody enter this room. Somebody, it's 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Surely you want some frickin' air conditioning now. <sighs> you guys suck. The zoo's low on cash. The zoo has never been richer. I don't know what you're talking about. <gasps> yes, these people, the dingo's about to mate. That's nice, I don't care. I mean, that's cool, because they've never had babies before, but you know, the last time I tried to watch, nothing happened. Look, you brought three children. That's what I like to see, a happy, healthy, pronghorn antelope. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> All right, you can get a good view of the antelope. Ugh, oh, these children. Okay, hey, hey, it's good to see these Amazonian giants and the peats looking so healthy. That's nice. Thank you, child. I like you. You're my favorite. Oh my god. Chill the frick out, dude. It's just because they're eating in front of these people. I don't care, all right? Deal with it. It's just for a little while. Then you can all go back behind your penis-shaped cave and be happy, all right? The dango! I got the dingo! Yes! Yes, the dingoes! Okay. So now, how about you research the bison? I like the bison. They deserve some more things. Unlike their counterparts. Uh, unlike their companions. The, uh, the stinky, stupid pronghorn. This poor guy. <laughs> Unlike their stinky companions, the, the pronghorns, the bison I care about. What the frick are you doing there? I have no idea. Okay, now what was I doing? I don't remember. Oh, we have enough money for another exhibit. Oh, that's good. That's good. I like that. So let's get another one. Duplicate. I suppose we'll just have two exhibits here, considering how dumb this all is. Fine. Fine. We'll just have two exhibits. Ugh. They need to fix how exhibits work, too. That's one more thing about this game. The exhibits, they suck because you have to place them outside, not inside. And I don't like that because what zoo has exhibits just lined out outside? No zoo! They always have them inside. 
And I don't understand why, why, why can't we just have like a giant floor? You know, no paths. Paths suck. I just want a giant floor and put the exhibits on top. Can we already do that? Am I just dumb? Am I doing this wrong? Probably. <laughs> Let's get another one of these education boards. Let's get two of them since people can actually go on this side, which I wish they could do with the other things, but they can't because, you know, the paths is sort of effing everything up. I'm probably doing this wrong, you know? There's probably a floor, that, and I'm just, I'm just not seeing it. All right, what other exhibits can we have? Come on. A uh, yellow anaconda? Heck yeah. Heck yeah, let's get a yellow anaconda. It's a special points, though. How many special points do I have? Oh, 540. Or we could get a western diamondback, but there's no male. Well, this one's fertility is pretty nice. It's just they won't live as long. Okay, whatever, I'll take you. And I'll adopt you. All right, let me just send these guys to the zoo. Come on, send to zoo. Send it right in there. Thank you very much. Get out of my face, I need to look at my anacondas. What do you guys need? What do you guys want? Hmm? Your temperature's off, that's for sure. It needs to be much hotter. And your humidity needs to be much higher. Is that good? Okay, that's good in the humidity. good in the temperature. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Windows. I mean, there are certain windows I can close, right? I mean, nobody's going to look on that side, so we can close that and we can close that too. Okay. Nice. We can close these guys' windows on those sides too. There we go. Okay. We can have some 3D facades so they look cooler. Yeah! Yeah! 3D facades! And, uh... Yeah, that's probably good enough. We should probably... Oh, wait. Change this. That's for sure. Change that to the yellow in the conda on both of these. Get me some money on this side. Okay. There we go. More people are coming in. Yes! And they're so happy about the stupid centipedes. Yay! Who are you? Oh, Abby. Okay. And what we really need are like some staff rooms that are just around here. <laughs> so that uh, the staff can easily, you know, get to this area. So I think I'm gonna put a staff area like right back here. So this little bubble is where we're going to have our staff stuff once we get the money for it. And then we'll have more people over here. Habitat has damaged bar barriers. We'll get a mechanic on it then. How often do mechanics come here? Hmm? Every two y What? No, no, no. Every six months. Thank you very much. That's what I put it to, didn't I? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Many tickets think... Many guests think tickets are underpriced. Oh. Ooh, nice. That's a good problem to have. Okay, we'll just raise it then to nine bucks. Yeah, that's right. What do you guys think about that, hmm? There's not a lot to do here, but the zoo ticket price is good. <laughs> okay. People are getting information, people are getting balloons, people are going to the bathroom, the mechanic research is finally complete, it only took a million years. We got more habitat. We got three new items. Okay. Yeah, just keep searching habitats because you can always use more of those. Okay, what kind of habitats did we get? Oh, we got. Did we get new toys? What did we get? What did we get? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did get new stuff for the zebra a while ago and I never looked at it. Oops. Oops. We did get new stuff for the, uh, the dingoes as well, I'm pretty sure, right? I don't remember. Oopsie, oopsie, I haven't been checking. I've been too busy making new things, I'm sorry. Okay, what is this? A grab ball. I'm sure they will love whatever the frick that is. Okay. Let's go give it to them. Here you guys go, you got a little grab -a ball. It's a great time to be a zebra. Okay. Now, what about, I think the dog ball is for the, the dingoes. It's definitely gotta be for the dingoes. Who else would it be for? 
Oh my god, a small colorful- we got so many different balls! We've even got an ice ball, oh my god. We've got so many balls for these dogs! These are not dogs! <laughs> Sorry, okay. So we could go with the regular dog ball, or the small ball colorful, or a small ball. Okay, well, I like the beach ball one, because it's just- it's just cute, you know? Maybe a little ice ball as well, maybe over here, so they can cool themselves off. That'd be nice. I think two balls is enough for one enclosure. How happy are you guys now that you got balls? Can you be pregnant yet? <laughs> you don't have enough space anymore. Are you serious? Are you are you serious? You don't have enough space. You, you two are so tiny in this massive freaking enclosure with your ginormous cave. What do you mean? And you don't have enough hard shelter either. Oh, I'm pissed. <laughs> oh, now the dingoes have made me angry. <laughs> Happy? Good. Now you just require more space. Hmm. Hmm. Fine. Let me just delete the staff path and I will try to get you some more space, okay? Okay, there. Is that good enough for you? Are you satisfied yet? I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> Look at that. Now you've got so- now you've got a fence post right in the middle of the freaking what? <laughs> okay, there. Now are you happy? Hmm? You happy now? No. No, they're not happy. Why? Wh why does two dingoes need this much space? Answer me that, hmm? Look how much freaking space they have. Why do two dingoes need so much space? They do not need this much space, alright? This is ridiculous. This is a lot of space, man, and they got caves and whatever that is. I don't understand. And I'm upset. <laughs> I don't understand and I'm upset. Fine, I will delete this path here. We don't even need it. We don't need this path. Alright, and I will make the barrier even bigger. That's right, just for these effing dingoes, I will make their bi stupid habitat even bigger. Ridiculously big. How do you guys like that? Hmm? You got enough space now? Hmm? Got enough freaking space? Come on. Thank you. Thank you, you have enough space, and for some- somehow all of your terrain is okay, too. <laughs> Even though I just did that. Okay, alright. Perfect. Protesters! Why do you guys always suck so much? Did I get new barriers? I hope I did. I don't think I did, though. No, I did not get new barriers, but I got new things for the- The habit- they're mating. These guys are mating. How are you so upset? They're mating. That means they're happy. They wouldn't mate if they weren't happy. I'm so upset. Okay. What did we get? We got habitats. What does that even mean? Habitat blueprints. Habitat blueprints. What does that mean? What are habitat blueprints? I don't know. Barriers! Go research barriers. That's what we need. I don't know what the frick habitats are. Get out of there, actually. I don't even care about habitats, Lawrence. Go research staff facilities instead. Okay. Protesters have arrived at your zoo. Protesters can go die in a hole. Look. All the pronghorns are back there hiding, like the good pronghorns they are. So I don't get what your problem is. Look at these people. I bet they're gonna be like, I don't see the dingo from here. I don't see the dingo. I'm too hot. The zoo feels small. Toilet block one's free though. The dingo's looking in great shape. Great, whatever. I don't I don't even care. Oh good, yes! Yes, my pangolins are mating. Please get pregnant. Please. That would make me so happy if you did. Yes, she's expecting offspring. Okay, good. And some vet res research is complete. Nice. We got some stuff for the Chinese pangolin. Wow. Nice. Nice timing there. Okay, go research stuff for the Indian peafowl. Okay. Let me go look at my, uh, 
no no dingo anymore where is the long way long way <laughs> the chinese pangolians i literally almost just looked for long way <laughs> oh my mechanic research is complete okay that's cool but give me a second okay you guys could use some herb scent markers so i'm gonna put one right over there because that looks like a nice place to put it um you guys need balls you guys can use balls oh Good! You guys can have a colorful ball. Nice little colorful ball. I'm sure you'll like that. And that's really all I can do for you. I hope it's ha I hope it's good, then. Where the frick are you? God dang it, I just saw you two a minute ago, and now, now they're gone. They've just disappeared, I swear. Why are they so good at hiding? Come on, they're giant spike ball things. How are they this good at hiding? Where the frick did they go? Where the- oh, there they are. There they are, running around. Okay. You. Oh, everything's going great. They have 100% in enrichment. Yes! They don't have enough space. Well, you know what? For that, I can understand that you guys don't have enough space. You know, you're expecting offspring. There's two of you. You're in a kind of a small enclosure. I get it. I get it. But the dingoes are just being greedy. <laughs> they don't need this giant space. Almost as big as the freaking exhibit place. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, I say. Okay. From here I can't even tell for sure there's a dingo- Exactly. I don't even blame you for saying that. Also, my mechanic research complete. I uh, almost uh, forgot about that. <laughs> Shelters and climbing. Not bad, not bad. Okay, keep researching those things. I think those are like the most important things to research. So, keep doing it. So, also, let me look at that stuff. <sighs> climbing and what- Okay, so we got some new metal shelters. Now, does this provide anything else other than looking better? Like, is it... is it sturdier? <laughs> Alright, so we got some new climbing things. Look at this, we got large animal climbing thing. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, and we got this. That's pretty good, too. That's pretty nice. A lemur climbing thing. Lemurs will love that. We got this thing, and, and this thing, and this thing, and this thing, and this thing. Obviously, we gotta make some climbing animals, then. Well, I don't really have a plan for monkeys. Oh, oh, you guys can actually look at the things from over there. Nobody told me that was a possibility. Then look at this. You little brats. Look at it. Look at it. I think it's backwards. No, it's not backwards. Okay, and give me money. Give me money. And look at my centipedes. From here I can't even tell for sure that's a dingo. Okay, yeah, whatever. The giant centipedes couldn't be in better shape. I'm glad you think so. I don't care if Sumia is stressed. Sumia can go die in a hole. Vet research is complete. Yes. What'd we get? Pea fowls? No, we got classic swine fever. Of course we did. Okay. Well, how about you go on to Simeon here? Actually, we don't need that because we don't have any monkeys. Go to Mike's Clocomobosis. Yeah. Alright, let's speed up time a little bit. Okay, we're getting a lot of cash here. What? What is the problem? I don't care if Sumia is stressed out. She sucks. <laughs> they all suck. <laughs> I'll be honest, you know, I even like Sumia more than these pronghorns. <laughs> oh, there's not enough workshops? Oh, boo-hoo, the facility's broken down? Oh, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Okay, um, we need more staff stuff, so let's go do that. Facilities, new staff facilities, come here. We need a new keeper hut over here. There we go, and we need a new... Staff room, maybe? Well, I know for sure we need a new workshop. So let's get one of those in. And then we need a new trade trades. No, we don't need a new trade center. We need a we need a staff hut. But we can't afford it. Okay, I'll just wait a few seconds. Okay, now I can afford it. Here's your staff room. There you go. Okay, and now we just need a workshop. So, let me wait for that. And I think we should be good. I mean, we might want a new research hut as well. But this should be fine for now. Alright, here we go! New workshop. I'm sure everyone will love that. Okay. 
facility broke down. Oh my god. <laughs> Somebody go do that. Call the mechanic. Now I know... Oh god, what happened? Oh, we just don't have power over here. Okay, that's fine. If I can get a new power thing, that's not... That's not a big deal. That's not that big of a deal. Come on. Duplicate that. Unless we don't have enough money for this. That might be a problem. I'm not sure. Okay, it wasn't. Good. We have plenty of money for that. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, new staff area. I'm sure you guys will love it. Uh, and you guys actually do need... Uh, you guys need a way around this. So I'm gonna have to edit this barrier a bit. I don't know what the frick is up with this, but I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know how to fix it either. I'm just making a W. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. What the heck? Okay. There, there we go. <laughs> eh? Eh? Oh, it worked. Oh my god, it worked. Okay, great. Now move this out of the way. Please. There you go. Okay. Everyone's doing great. The dingoes, you like your space still? Yes, they love their space still. Great. Okay, and we've got a new staff area for the exhibit and the other stuff over here, I guess. Anywhere, really. I know I could make zoo... What is it called? I could make work zones. But I don't feel like it. I just, I just don't feel like it. I'll do that later. <laughs> Maybe, you know, if I'm not too lazy ever. Or, you know, it could just be utter chaos forever. That's fine. It'll be fine, guys. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What do you guys think about the anaconda? Hmm? The view of the bison's good. Okay, well, that's not what I asked you. Better view of the dingo? Well, that's not what I asked you either. Okay, no one needs to use the toilet. Hey, that's pretty good, man. I thought I would need more toilets by now. Oh, this person kind of needs to use the toilet. They're gonna have to go pretty far for it. Eugh. Okay, how much does a toilet cost? Because I'd like to put a toilet here. Maybe even some vending machines or something. Okay, yes. Got American Bison stuff. Nice. Okay. Uh... I guess we'll go research some pronghorn stuff. Also, are there floors? Are there floors and I'm just dumb? There's wall- well, roofs and floors! Oh my god. And this is all for roofs. I just want floor, man. Wall floor? Wall- what is a wall floor? What the frick does that mean? <laughs> what is a wall floor? <laughs> Gutter? I don't need no gutter. <laughs> Can people walk on this? I don't know. I don't- I don't know. I'm not trusting it. Okay, let's uh, just look for a bathroom. Oh, I keep forgetting to put bins everywhere. Oh my god, people are gonna be gross over here, aren't they? Okay, please, please throw your trash away. Throw your trash away. Do not come in here with trash, you nasty mongrels. 4,000- oh my god. 2,000 for a- cheap bathroom. Wow. Okay. Well, here's a bench. <laughs> While you wait for your bathroom. <laughs> the pronghorn's about to have another baby! Woo! I don't really care, because I don't want babies. Okay, whatever. Here's a baby. Nice. We got a new baby. Is it a male or a female? It is a male. Bename. Wow, how nice. Okay. Sumi is stressed. Okay. When is she not stressed? <laughs> Micro mama. Woo, we got micro whatever. Nice. Okay, go for that uh, canine distemper virus, because we do have canines in here. This is going pretty well. A lot of people like the pronghorns now. It's good to see the dingoes looking so healthy. Nice. We can get a good view of the pronghorns. Not a lot to do here. There's not a lot to do here. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Spectre's arriving in four months. Whatever. How are you guys doing? I wish you were pregnant. Okay, a lot of people really want drinks. <laughs> Probably because it's very hot out here. <laughs> the drink vending machine keeps breaking down. 
and the drink shop keeps getting full of people. So you know what? I will make another drink shop right there just for you guys. I was gonna save up for a bathroom, but it doesn't matter. You guys don't need the bathroom as much as you need more drinks. So here's more drinks and you guys aren't even going to it. Okay, that's cool. You know, I didn't I didn't need you go to go get more drinks. What what is wrong with this one? Call a mechanic to that. What? What happened? Oh, okay, now now it's telling me that the vending machine's broken down. All right, it's fine. Everything's gonna go great. They even have a drink vending machine next to the to the vending machine. Oh, the bison's about to have a baby. Ooh, bison's about to have a baby. Did it already happen? Did I miss it? Is this the water trough? <laughs> what are they doing in it? This is like now the spot where you have a baby. What the heck? Okay, okay, she's lying down. She's gonna give birth. To a baby bison. Oh, it's so cute. It doesn't have its horns yet. Oh, hello. Are you a boy or a girl? Lucas, you're a boy. Nice, and I like that name too. Oh, the pronghorns are about to have a baby. Oh, it's dark. I can't see. I can't see the pronghorns. Another pronghorn is about to have a baby. Hooray. So many freaking babies. Come on, have a baby already. Oh, oh, that was not a baby. That was the opposite of a baby. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. Alright, here she goes. And it is a girl, Zoe. We got Zoe here. Not bad, not bad. She's got like a some stars here. She's got animal appeal. Nice. Inspector's arriving in a month. That's fine. We're ready for him, man. People are doing great in here. Right? These Amazonian giant centipedes couldn't be in better shape. Yeah, who would who would know that? Nobody knows anything about no centipedes when they go to the zoo. Oh, those centipedes look in great shape. The centipedes could be freaking headless, and you wouldn't you wouldn't know. You wouldn't really understand that they're dead. <laughs> they could put gummy worms in the freaking thing, and I'm sure most people would wouldn't even question it. <laughs> They'd be like, yep, that's an Am giant Amazonian centipede, all right. <laughs> the view of the Indian peafowl is really good. Yeah, because you can go into the things. <gasps> the dingoes are mating again. Please get pregnant this time, please. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. They're adorable. Did you get pregnant? Yes, Arya's pregnant. Finally! That only took forever. That research is complete. Okay. The pronghorn antelopes and the Indian pea fowls both got stuff. And a transformer needs to be repaired. Cool. Let's work on some exhibit animals. I do feel a little bit bad about them. Dingoes and pea fowl. Dingoes and pea fowl. Dingo and pea fowl. Dingo and pea fowl. Let's do dingo first. Species. The d d d d dingo. What have you got? What have you got? That's new. Nothing. It looks like you got absolutely nothing. Okay, cool for you. Then what about the pea fowl? P p p p p p p p p fowl. You guys got absolutely nothing as well. Okay, well. Cool. Cool. Enjoy your nothing, I suppose. We have seven thousand dollars. Oh my god, when did that happen? Alright, you guys can finally have your bathroom, and I think we can even afford another a facility. Maybe, I don't know. I want to get the nice bathroom because I just like it. Alright, don't judge me. I'm gonna put it right there near the entrance. Okay, I can't get another exhibit. That's fine. Can I get like a drink stall maybe? A food stall? We can get some vending machines in here. That'd be, that'd be kind of nice. Vending machine over here. And the drink vending machine over here. There you go. Get some drinks and snacks here. You know, not too bad. Not much to see in this one. Not much to see in this one. Transformer needs uh, repair. Come on, good dude. Go repair it. Okay, he's already there. Why do they keep yelling at me then? Stop it. He's there. He's fixing it. He's a good guy. <laughs> he's working on it. Low on cash. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're not low on cash at all. We're doing great. 
We are doing the best we've ever done, and this place is looking pretty nice. I know there's no roof on it, but just ignore that. <laughs> I don't like building the roof on it. <laughs> it doesn't need a roof. <laughs> just pretend the roof is there. <laughs> Alright, some more vet research was completed. That's not it. What? What is your problem? Why? Why? Social's bad. What do you mean the social is bad? Are you guys stressed out? I don't get it. Too few adults and juveniles. You just had a baby! <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't care. I just, I don't care. <sighs> the pronghorns are thriving though. I hate the pronghorns. Okay. We're fine. Everyone's doing great. Just ignore everyone's stupidness. Actually, in fact, so many people are doing great. I want to see my staff. See if anyone's overworked. Oh, we just got canine distemper virus. That's nice. Um, guess you can start working on foot and mouth disease. Go do that. I'd like to have at least one little thing in each of these so we can take care, better care of these uh, viruses before they happen. Okay. Now, um, zoo overview. Where am I lo what am I looking at? Staff. That's what I need. High workload. Yes, that's what I was afraid of. So I think we'll need two more caretakers. You know? Can you oh, you guys can't be put on the grass. I forgot. Put them on the path. Okay. Two new caretakers. We got Gala and Soldad. Um, Galar. You know, like the Pokemon region. And then Soldad, you're gonna be... Uh, Sol Galeo. Uh, Gale. Galeo? Sol. How do you spell Sol Galeo? <laughs> okay, I spelled it correct. Why is it called Sol Galeo and not Sol Galeo? Whatever. Maybe it is called Sol Galeo. I don't freaking know. Just take your name. You're the Pokemon. You're the legendary from Sun and Moon. It's a great name. Okay. Now, does anyone else have a high workload? Yes, the keepers have a very high workload. I'm going to get two more keepers. Maybe three. Three more keepers for you guys. There you go, you got three more keepers. Dusty Donald. Okay, you know what? I just- I like that name too much. I cannot change Dusty Donald. <laughs> Helena, though, you're changing. You're gonna be Del Taco. Enjoy your new name. And Ronald Boland, you're gonna be Bean Taco. I know what you guys are thinking, what happened to Rickon and Eli. Don't worry about it, we'll name other people after them. <laughs> but this is it so far, we've almost got the whole Taco family. Oh, we're also missing Cheese and seal. Okay, whatever. We got tons of things to do. Okay. Alright, who else has a high workload? The mechanics definitely do. Let's, uh... Hire two more mechanics. You know, that we need a lot of mechanics. Stefan Spangler and Yvonne Brobin. I kind of like the name Stefan Spangler, but I'm gonna change it. I'm sorry. Sane. That was the first S name that came to me that is a uh, Fire Emblem name. Though you are not from Three Houses, you're from a totally different game. But Sylvain, you know, Sylvain. Sorry, Sane. Maybe next time. Okay, and Yavani, uh, I don't know why, but Leone come, came to mind. Is that how you spell Leone? It's like Leon, but with an I-E. Yes, okay. Good. So now we got Ignatz, Ingrid, Lauren, Sylvain, and Leone. Uh, so far, I don't think I have a single Black Eagle student in here, I'm sorry. We'll get Black Eagle students eventually. <laughs> Um, you still have a low workload, Roy. Okay, Roy's just really good at his job. I'm gonna send him for training, just just to make him even better. Okay, and we need some more vendors. I don't really know why, but sure, I'll, I'll put two vendors, two more vendors for you. There you go. Ada Hancock. No, you're gonna be Ada Wong. There you go. Dylan Parker. Uh, Dylan Sprouse. How about that? Elvis? Just Elvis. <laughs> Just Elvis will do. Kristen? Kristen, you're gonna be Chris... 
That's a Fire Emblem character. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm like 80% sure. Leone? Le your name was not even Leone, was it? Well, I'm gonna call you, uh... Lee... And Walker. You're gonna be Run. Okay, there we go. We got new names for them. Do we need anything else? We do need some more vets. Okay, I will take... Uh, one more vet. Because, you know, only... Only two vets. Two vets are suffering, but Leo's doing pretty good. <laughs> Tessie, I'm assuming you're a female. I don't really know, but you're gonna be Camilla. There we go. Should we get an educator? I don't know. I don't know if the budget allows for an educator. <laughs> animals stressed. Animals stressed. Oh no, the animals stressed. I don't give a dang. Sumi is about to have an offspring. Another Sumi is about to have an offspring. <laughs> Aw, look at them! They're so cute! The little tiny babies eating the food alongside the adults. They're so cute! Have your baby, though. I want. I didn't, I didn't come here to watch you eat. I came here to watch you give birth. Are two Sumi is about to have a baby? What's going on? Come here! This poor guy. <laughs> no, I don't want to look at you. I wanted to look at the other antelope giving birth. What the frick? Are you giving birth? Offspring in a minute. Yeah, it's this one. Okay, alright. Give me your baby. Give me the baby. Did you have the baby? <laughs> no, Sumi is about to mate. That's just Zoe. Well, where's your baby? Offspring imminent still? Have the freaking child already. Yes, there it is. Is it a boy or girl? It is a boy. It is Choik. Choki. Choiki. Cute. Has had offspring. Great. I don't care. Everyone's welfare is suffering. I know you guys need more space. And you know what? I've heard your concerns. And you will get more space. Alright? You will. I will get space right now. That dude, I don't know what's gonna happen to him. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> there we go! <laughs> we're, we're going! <laughs> Woo! Okay, there's a problem. Uh, oh no. <laughs> Habitat's become invalid. <laughs> a habitat has become invalid. Oh no. No, I didn't want to do that. Here's some more glass. Right here. So you guys can look at the stinking prong horns. There you go. There you go, new habitat for the pronghorns. Bigger. Bigger and better, I say. Okay, how do you like it now? How do you like that space? It's so much space, come on, calculate that. Yeah, I knew it. I knew you'd like it. Lots of space, not enough hard shelter, huh? I know. I knew that would be a problem. Okay, how about some over here, then? There, you okay with that? Yes, but there's not enough soil anymore. Oh, God, not enough soil. Not enough soil. Okay. We will make it more soily for you. There, that's good soil. Okay. And are the bison happy too? Yes. Alright, good. Good. Everyone's freaking happy. We need a new exhibit. F off, edit group. Such a stupid thing. Okay, gonna put one there. And I need to delete that path because it's bothering the freak out of me. Oh, the giant centipede had offspring. That's great. That means we can sell them for money. We can sell them for money. Can I delete this path? Because I don't want it. Thank you. Okay. Centipede had money. I mean, the centipede had money. <laughs> the centipede had babies. Uh, which one are the adults? Okay, Juan, Leah, and Elena are the babies. And they are gold star babies. That's great. You are mom from now on. And you are dad from, from now on, okay? Five years and six years. How long do these things live? We'll never know. 
We'll never know. Where's my book? Where's my magical book? Okay, you. Where are centipede? How long do they live? Ten years. So they're halfway. They're middle-aged. Okay, that's fine. We can keep them for a bit longer then. But the next uh, batch of children will probably have to keep one to use as a uh, the next parent. We don't. We only keep one, of course, a male or a female. It would depend on stuff. Okay, let's just release them to the wild and get those points. Yes, yes, yes. Nice, nice, nice. We could have sold them for money, but I don't think you get much money. I think it's better to just sell them for the special points so you can get the special animals. All right, here we go. Mechanic re research is complete. Yes, we got new barriers. Please tell me I got the glass thing. <laughs> you know, the the two way, the one way glass. Please tell me I got one way glass. I bet I didn't. Oh, the dingo's about to have an offspring. Okay, that's nice and all, but I really need to see what kind of barriers I just got. I got Gabion. I mean, it looks nice. But it's not what I freaking want. <laughs> okay, can I have- can I see my dingoes having babies? Have the baby, dingo! Have the baby! Have a whole litter of babies, please. That would be best. Please, have tons of babies. Okay, circle around. <laughs> Everyone, look! Witness the miracle of life! Or death. Maybe she's gonna die. I don't know. <laughs> or sleep. Witness the miracle of sleep. Wait, I hear them. <gasps> We've got two! Three! We've got three! Oh my god, how did you give birth so far away? <laughs> We've got three Archie. <gasps> oh, I love that name. Okay, we got little Archie here. We've got Sophie. And we've got Benjamin. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Look at them. Oh, they're adorable. They're doing little howls and stuff. They're so cute. This one looks more like his father. That one looks more like their mother. And that one looks more like the father, I think. Okay, cool. Alright, well, I'm done with you now. There, are you guys happy that there's finally more dingoes in this dingo exhibit so you guys can finally see them? And it's- and it's puppies! It's puppies! Uh, the zoo isn't overcrowded. Yeah, of course not. I've got tons of room for people to explore. <laughs> Everyone's happy that the toilet block is free! I'm happy the toilet block is free! That zoo ticket price is great! Does that mean I can make it even higher? Yes, it does. Zoo ticket price is underpriced. Zoo ticket price is underpriced. So that means I can raise it up a couple bucks. Right, right. Yep, people are still coming in. Zoo ticket price is great. Zoo ticket price is great. They still... Can I raise it higher? Raise it higher? Zoo ticket price is great. No thoughts yet. Hold on, let me- uh, Zoo ticket price is good. Okay, this is good. This is good. Low on cash. <laughs> not for long. Not for long, man. You should see what I'm charging these people to enter this sad, pathetic zoo. <laughs> oh wait, we still didn't get our exhibit animal. I was about to end off. But I'm so addicted, man. I need to get exhibit things. Oh my Okay, what do we need? We need Western Diamondbacks, that's what we need. Adopt, adopt, done. We got new snakes, the Western Diamondback. Everyone loves that, it's a staple of Texas. Of course, we gotta, we gotta have the Western Diamondbacks in here. Jackson and Vlora. Very Texan names. <laughs> okay, move those in. Nice, 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 nice. It's not hot enough for you, is it? Or is it too hot? Oh, not hot enough. I knew it wouldn't be. And there's too much humidity. Yep. Alright, there you go, there you go. You'll like that, you'll like that. Maybe a little too, a little, too little. Okay. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, no, no. Too, too hot, too low. There. 80 degrees. 
the pangolin is about to have a baby! Oh my god. Give me the to, to tight whatever her name is. Long way's about to be a dad! Yes, my favorite pangolin in the world is about to have a little family. They're so cool looking. I really like the pangolins. Okay, have baby. It's way over there. How the frick... How the frick did it get way over there? <laughs> Something's not right here. <laughs> Look how tiny it is! Mei Ying! Do they only have one? Or is there like others that are just scattered about secretly? Hmm? I don't know. We'll see in a bit. But let me look at you up close. Come here. Look at her. Mei Ying. She's so cute. She's so tiny. Okay. Okay. A lot of things are happening. Are there any other babies? Or did you just have one? I think they just had one. Gray layered scales and brown skin. Okay. So no siblings. Just long way in Tywin. Okay, uh, habitat cleanliness is a disease risk. Of course it is. It's always a freaking disease risk. Okay, we got some research completed. We've got new staff facilities, 11 items. Jesus Christ. Okay, we got some, a lot of staff facilities. And we've got some foot and mouth disease. <laughs> Great. Great. Oh, and Camilla, you can start working on stuff. That's nice. Camilla, you go look for Western Diamondback stuff, okay? And Leo, start researching, uh, rotavirus. Okay, what else do we need? Yes, 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 yes. The habitat cleanliness needs to be better. Call the, call the keeper to clean this place before the diseases happen and stuff. Alright, we don't need the diseases. Also, speaking of uh, keepers and whatnot, uh, how is the staff doing? Okay, we have enough caretakers. Everyone's got an efficient workload. That's perfect. Okay. The keepers, however, a lot of them have a high workload. Okay, fine. I will hire two more keepers. No, bite the bullet and hire some more keepers. There you go. Are you happy? Cory Ty McLe McLeod? Okay, I've never seen a name that long in this game before with a freaking nickname in the middle. So you know what? I have to- I have to keep it. <laughs> Just like I have to keep Dusty Donald. But Genevieve Red? No. You're not keeping that name. You're gonna be Cheese. Cheese Taco, thank you very much. Okay. Do we need anything else? Keepers look good. I think Leone and Sylvain just need training to be better than they are. Roy still has a low workload. Okay. The vendors all have high workloads. That's not good. And the vets. We need some more vets. Okay. Two more vets. And two more vendors. I don't know why the vendors have such a high workload, but whatever. I don't care. Vendors. Wh who did I get? Destiny. Ryan. And Lynette Vinyas. Vin 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 okay. Nobody cares. Okay, and I'm gonna call you. Just straight up V. Alright, there we go. And vets. Okay, we should be good. We should be good. There we go. We got some new workers. Hopefully, they help a little bit. This dude's going straight into the pronghorns. Inspector's left. Ooh, what do we get? Cleanliness, five stars, and education's two stars. It's no longer zero. Pangolin's got a five star review. The peafowl, four stars. Prong bison, three. I'm not surprised. Zebra, five stars. And the dingo, four stars. Nice, 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 nice. Thank you for that. The habitat cleanliness is a disease risk. The habitat cleanliness is a disease risk. Well, call- just call everyone. Just- just call everybody to this place. <laughs> it needs all the help it can get. <laughs> Alright, what are you guys all thinking? These western diamondbacks couldn't be in better shape. I'm sure. <laughs> the humidity is just right. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I don't know how you guys would know about that, but sure. Oh wait, I need uh I need these little stupid exhibit boards. Okay, one right here. 
and one over here. Gotta change those from Anaconda to a uh, diamond bag. Donation things. Give me money. Okay. Western diamond bag and Western diamond bag. Nice. And let's get a new exhibit. One right there. No. And delete this garbage and delete that garbage. Because we don't freaking want it here. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, frick. That effed up my path. <sighs> it's fine. Okay. You. Windows. You don't need that window. And you don't need window four either. Those can be facades. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Let's get some more exhibits. Let's get some cheap ones, because we don't have much money. Yeah. <laughs> what about these puff adders? Male and a female. Ooh, okay, I'll, I'll take them, I'll take them. Give me the puff adders. Give me those puff adders. Gimme, gimme. Send. Tazoo. Nice, 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 nice. Alright. Now, what do you want? Everything's perfect for you? Wow, that's a surprise. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Just close some windows. Close window 3 and close window 4. 3D facade and 3D facade. Alright, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Now we just gotta put a thing in front of you. And one of these things in front of you, too. So people give me freaking money. Okay, and you are a puff adder. Thank you. Vet research complete. What'd we get? We got some yellow anacondas. Oh, we got some yellow anaconda stuff. And we got two more vets to research junk, so that's cool. Not sure if we have enough research stations or whatever for that, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, start researching puff adders, start researching some fevers. <laughs> start researching, guys. Okay. We got some things from my ye yellow anaconda. Am I right? Alert. What alert? What, is somebody eating someone? Expecting offspring. Why is that bad? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Okay. Just take all the tropical plants. Yeah, just take all of them. <laughs> Why wouldn't I put all three? Why not? Okay, there you go. More tropical plants for you. What are you guys thinking? Temperature's just right. Temperature is just right. Are you guys eating ice cream? Okay. What are you eating? I don't know. Those are some ha mighty happy looking Amazonian giant centipedes. <laughs> Next time I go to the zoo, I'm gonna just say random garbage like that. <laughs> As I walk around the exhibits. Oh, look at those! Pythons, they they look mighty happy. The temperature's just right in there. <laughs> Education's only 28%. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. So this exhibit room is now finally getting a little bit more attention. That's nice. That's nice. There's more to do in here. It's nice and chilly in here as well. So people are not complaining about the heat or the cold or anything like that. Uh, well, they wouldn't complain about the cold because it's not cold here, but you get what I mean. Okay, and there's bathrooms over here. It's pretty nice. This is all pretty nice. I've seen bigger and better zoos. I think I'm done messing around with exhibits, though, and I'd kind of like some more real big habitats for animals. Some more regular animals. Oh, we got some more things for the, uh, the centipedes. The giant centipedes! Here, take all those logs. I'm sure you'll love them. There you go. You like the logs? Yep, some nice logs. He, he didn't say that, but sure. <laughs> View the plain zebras. Nice. Okay, great. What are you thinking? The temperature in the western diamondback rattlesnake exhibit is good. <sighs> okay. Okay, whatever you say. Alright, I think we're ready to go off in a direction, in another direction. I don't know which direction though, because I need to look at animal trading. Okay, so we can either do 
some more grassland animals, or we can... I want money so I can afford to lard barks. Okay, you know what? We need more money, so let's just sit here and wait for a bit. We are on year seven somehow. How did that happen? At least can't find research stuff. Okay, fine, 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 fine. I will put another research thing down before I buy a new animal. Staff. We need a new research thing. We've got African huts now. That's nice. And classic huts. And East Asian huts. Oh. That's nice. But I don't need a hut. I need a research facility. Thank you. Okay. New research center. There you go. Go get it. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. Hey, we got more mechanic research. What we get? What we get? We got shelters and climbing. More shelters and climbing. Cool. What kind of shelters did we get? We got Australia shelter. Oh, that looks so nice. That's gonna look so nice in the dingoes. What? Oh, call a mechanic. And we got a log shelter. And we got South American shelter. Not bad, not bad. Vet research complete. We got rotavirus. Wow. How exciting. Which one does that look like? <laughs> Go search EEHB now. Thank you. Low welfare. Why? Because people are staring at you and it makes you uncomfortable. I'm sorry. I don't really care, though. Alright, we've got enough money for, like, something good now. Ooh, we could get chimps. But there's no mail. And these cost a lot of special points. Okay. Timber wolves. We could get some timber wolves. Everyone likes a good old wolf. We could get some spring box. You know. Annoy ourselves with more herbivores. <laughs> we could get spotted hyenas! Oh, I want some hyenas. Can we look at their zoopedia? I want to see this. 12,000 feet. Alright, not great. Uh, that's pretty big. <laughs> two to four. What? Their group size is only two to four? I thought it would be much bigger. I've seen documentaries about Africa before, and these things, there's like 30 of them in a pack. Come on now. Come on, you cannot tell me these things are only two to four group size. What? That is so lame. Alright, and guests cannot enter the habitat. Well, that's not surprising. Dang, I was hoping we could get like a ton of them, but we can only get four. Why? What's the point? <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> what about wolves? How many wolves can we have? We just make it 12. Come on. Two to 12. Okay, they're like the dingoes. See, I would expect the hyenas to be the same. Why aren't they? Can you not have 12 hyenas in a zoo? Is there like a problem with that? What? What's the deal? We could get a Siberian tiger. Oh, so many special points. Saltwater crocodile. Yeah, I need to make a- I need to make plans for having a water area soon. Sometime. Sable antelope. These look cool, but there's no females. Giraffes are cool, but there's no females. Reindeer are cool. They require a lot of care. Uh, I kind of want the kangaroo, but there's no male kangaroo. Polar bears? Oh my god. A mandrill. Oh, mandrills are cool. But there's only one. We can get koalas, Harry and Ryan. We can get a jaguar. <laughs> we can get a Himalayan brown bear. <laughs> Everyone wants a Himalayan brown bear. We could get three grizzly bears. Oh, we could get grizzly bears. We could get grizzly bears. Oh my god, we could actually get grizzly bears. I want grizzly bears. I mean... I also kind of want capuchin monkeys because they're monkeys, but there's no males. I could buy a male and a female monkey. I mean, not monkey. Bear. I could buy a male and a female grizzly bear. I want a male and a female grizzly bear. <laughs> oh, but your longevity is like only 8%. Oh my god, as soon as I buy you, you're gonna die. Shanita's gonna immediately pass out and die as soon as I buy her. Okay, well, I don't need to buy her. That's true. I have options. I will probably go with Natasia. 
But I only have wall caught as an option. Okay, let me look at their Zoopedia thing. How how many do they like? Not many. One to two. One male, one female. Okay, well that's fine, because they're bears. They're cooler than hyenas. How many? How much space? 8,000 feet. Not bad, not bad. I'll take them. I'll take them. Gimme them. Gimme. Gimme my bears. Gimme my bears. Okay, Natasia, adopt. Grizzly bear, adopt. Okay, now we just need to make a giant habitat. So far, just gonna make a little circle around here. Okay, that should be good. Uh, let me put some more trees down so that nobody complains about- Oh, we can see the, the staff area! Oh my god, I just put a tree on top of a tree and I'm not gonna fix it! <laughs> okay, we need more staff paths as well. Uh, let's just make a path that goes right there. I don't need the path to be that big. Staff, there's not that many staff. What the frick? Okay. There we go. Just a quicker way to get over here. Okay. Now, we definitely gotta put something in the middle there. I don't know what. Maybe flamingos. But we definitely need some bears. I'm gonna put them behind here. How strong do the, does the barrier for the bears have to be? This is not the right bear. This is not the right bear. Grade 4, climb proof. Grade 4. I don't... See, glass is grade 3. Okay, I know what to do. I know what to do. Don't worry about it. I know what to do. We're going to dig a hole. When in doubt, you dig a hole. <laughs> Alright, let's dig a big ol' hole. Uh, so far, I don't- I don't think I'm doing this right. I would not say that this is correct. <laughs> this is the bear hole. Do you guys like it? <laughs> We're gonna shove some bears down in there. <laughs> oh my god, this is terrible. I'm gonna get- people are gonna protest. <laughs> so this looks bad. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> this looks awful. <laughs> and you would be absolutely correct. <laughs> this is pretty awful. <laughs> okay, so you see what I've done? The bears <laughs> need a resistance grade of four. And the glass is only a resistance grade of three. So I put the, <laughs> I put the glass here um, at the edge of this giant cliff. Which they obviously cannot climb. So, you know, the ba it'll be fine. It'll be fine. You guys will get it, right? <laughs> you guys get it. You guys get it. I need to... I need to put a gate on this thing. The bears are ready for their new habitat, which is awful. But I'm sure they'll love it! Animal storage, come on. Put the bears in. Send to the zoo. Thank you. Okay, let me go look at Marth. He's about to become a man. He's about to enter the, the real meat of his story, you know, where his whole family dies and stuff. Stuff happens. <laughs> his whole family dies. He's about to mature. Come on, mature! In front of these nice people. Come on. Oh, the yellow anaconda had an offspring. Okay. Animal is stressed. Why are you stressed? I need to go look at the frickin' yellow anacondas. Because they just had babies, and I need to sell them. Gustavo is the new one, so you're the mom, you're the dad, and you are gonna be sold for cash. No, you're gonna be sold for special points. Yay, I got nothing, what? <laughs> okay, whatever, release. Marth is gonna mature. Yeah, you keep saying that, but he still looks like a baby to me. And I need to go take care of my bears. Assuming they're in here. Where are my bears? Where are my bears? They're not there yet. Fine. I can go look at Marth. Come on, mature. Mature so I can sell ya. Oh, the grizzly bears have arrived. Okay. I have to go fix them. Or else they're not gonna be very happy with this. Okay. We have got the bears. Okay, there we go. We have got the bears. Walcott and other one. <laughs> you're 10 years old? Oh my god, you're old. Okay, 
That's fine. Okay, you've got tons of space. Uh, a little too much space here. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. What you want is a lot more long- no, no long grass. You want, like, no long grass at all. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. I hear ya, and I gotcha, and I'm going to get rid of it. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of short grass in here instead. There we go. Okay, perfect. It's perfect. You need more plants? Okay, North America, Temperate, Tundra, and Taiga. Here is a uh, purple flower. I'm sure you like that. An azalea. A large azalea. You know, I'm sure you like those. They're very pretty. Uh, whatever this is, it's nice. Pretty, pretty nice tree. Some sugar maples. Everyone likes a good old sugar maple. Some more, some more creepers. Lots of creepers. There you go. Now you can explode. <laughs> enrichment. Okay, you need some enrichment, some other stuff. Alright, alright, I gotcha, I gotcha. Habitat, please. Filter, reset filter. Species. We're looking for grizzly bears. Yes, that's right, we've got grizzlies in here. Heck yeah. Uh, we could probably give you guys a nice little classic shelter. F off, big old giant thing. Okay, a nice little classic shelter. Looks like a house. Very nice, I like it. Is that good enough for your hard shelter? Yes. Okay, perfect. Now we just need enrichment. Do you got any toys and stuff in here? Climbable logs? These things can climb? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's just- that's not good. Here's a climbing branch. Here's some climbing branches for you though. I'm sure you'll like them. Why is that one so tiny? Apparently you guys like this stuff. Whatever. <laughs> okay, a climbing platform. Uh, <laughs> climbable ramp, yes. There you go. Maybe you guys want one of these things down there? Yeah, that's... That looks pretty nice. Pretty, <laughs> pretty natural. Okay, a water pipe. Yeah, here's a, here's a water pipe. Way over here. You have to go get it. Okay. I don't know where to put that. I'm gonna put it over there. Herb scent? For grizzly bears? I mean, I suppose that, yeah, they eat berries, but... Still. Pretty weird. Okay. Put a giant food tray there. That's a small food tray. Oh my god, I don't want small, I want large. There. Large food tray. There you go! You've got 15% enrichment, even though I threw a whole bunch of junk in there. Okay. Alright, I think they're having a good time here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they love it in there. Now we just need people to come over and tell me how awful the view is. <laughs> I can't see the bears from here! I can't see the bears from here! Okay. Let's get some money. It's all about the money. Right there. And these are not pronghorns, these are grizzly bears. Thank you very much. All right, there we go. The grizzly bears are done. I'm fine, I'm not low on cash. Calm down. Vet research is complete. Nice. Simeon thing is done. Okay, so you can go to cowpox then. Okay, Marth just matured, I think, so let's go sell him, and then I think we'll be done for the day. Samish? No, not you guys. The social is apparently still good, even though I think there's supposed to be too, ma too many males in here. Maybe they haven't aged up yet? Yeah, Marth hasn't aged up yet. It says he keeps wanting to mature, and then he's not- he's not maturing. Okay, they're both supposed to be maturing, and they're not maturing. Oh, wait, wait. Nope, they're still not maturing. I don't know what you're talking about. It, it looks like he's mature, but he's not. He's still like a black and white tiny thing, okay? He's not maturing. Well, I got some new vet research. That's nice. I got some new yellow anaconda stuff. So I guess, uh, I guess I'll go do that.
Rose, go research about grizzly bears, please. Animal is not an ideal temperature. Oh my god. Of course it's something. It's always something. What kind of a, a temperature do you need? Come on, man. What temperature? What temperature do you need? I have no idea. It won't tell me. Okay, fine. Let me go to here. Uh, what temperature do they need? 14 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and it is a little hot. I gotcha, I gotcha. You want it to be cooler. 14 to 82. 14 to 82. So we'll give you a space with your lowest 14, and then we'll give you a little space with your higher, so you're warmer. Cooler. So we'll make this area down here a little cooler for ya. Okay, and we'll make this area over here a bit more l warmer. Okay, that is in the tree. I did not want to put it in the tree. 70, 69, that's fine. And you, down here, you're gonna go down pretty low. I want you to be like 19, you know, nice and chilly. Uh, oh god, they're climbing out. The bears are climbing. The bears are escaping. No, 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 no. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> the bears are escaping. <laughs> the bears are escaping. Ah! Make that a little higher. You can't escape. Oh god. <laughs> there we go. No, 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 no. The dangerous animal has not escaped. <laughs> no, you're lying. <laughs> Oops. Okay, move that back to the zoo, please. <laughs> Why are you guys hungry? What the frick? Feed him. <laughs> Call a keeper. Feed him, weirdos. Okay, no, no dangerous animal has escaped. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no dangerous animal. No dangerous animal escaped. Somebody go look at my bears, please. <laughs> I, I took a lot of work into this ugly habitat. Please, please look at my bears. Nobody is coming this way. Not a single person is coming this way. Everyone's happy being over here. Okay, okay. What else did I get on my vet research? Rattlesnakes. Oh, all right, all right. Cool. I'll just I'll just keep it on rattlesnakes for now. All right. Well, so the last thing I'm gonna do before signing off, because it's been like way too long. I've been playing this way too freaking long. Is I'm going to uh, change their these exhibit. I'm gonna add some stuff to the to the exhibit animals. See what they need. Okay, yeah, you need that stuff. All right, and you. All right, that's it. That's it. They're good. The bear did not escape. No, <laughs> the bear did not escape. <laughs> and I think this is gonna be good. This is pretty good. All right. Um, I'll see you in the next episode, if there is one, which there probably will because I'm addicted. Anyway, uh, for now though, that's gonna be it. So bye.